It is another day at Playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today we celebrate Chinese New Year. What's that? It is when we welcome in the New Year with parties and dancing and fireworks. Ooh, we, we love, love fireworks. Hello, Madam Gazelle. Where do you want these fireworks? Put them on the next hill, please, Mr. Bull. Okie dokie. Children, before we celebrate Chinese New Year, we must sweep up. Why? We must sweep out the old year before we welcome in the new year. <laughs> Finish, Madam Gazelle. Lovely. Now, we must be careful not to sweep anymore, so please hide all the brushes. <laughs> all the children are hiding their brushes. Madam Gazelle, why do we hide the brushes? So we don't sweep away the good luck that the new year brings, Pedro. Okay. When you have good luck, nice things happen. Ooh. Can I have some good luck, please? I'm ready. I'm ready. They say if you wear something red, it will bring you good luck. <laughs> Peppa and her friends pick something red to wear. I'm wearing lucky red shoes. I'm wearing a red hat. I'm wearing a red scarf. And my red dress. Ah, a red scarf and a red dress? That will make you extra lucky, Peppa. That's not fair. I want to be extra lucky too. If I am extra lucky, I will share it with you, Susie. <coughs> Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are best friends. Now, to celebrate the new year, we will have a dragon dance with a big dragon like this. Ooh. Is it a scary dragon? No, Danny. It is a super friendly dragon. Where is it? We are going to make it. What's that? It looks like a sausage. It might look like a sausage now, but soon it will be a magnificent dragon. How do we make the sausage look like a dragon? With cardboard and paints, ribbons and your imagination. <laughs> Peppa and her friends are making a dragon. I'm giving the dragon scales like a fish. I'm giving the dragon googly eyes. <laughs> We're giving it the horns of a bull. Bull? Oh, that reminds me. Hello, Mr. Bull. Will the fireworks be ready for the dragon dance? Oh, yes. <laughs> Nearly done. The dragon is finished. Hooray! Now, who wants to carry the dragon? Me! Who wants to carry a lantern? Me! We need music too. Who wants to bang a cymbal or a drum? Me, me, me! And I have made a lion costume to lead the dragon dance. Ooh! But who's going to be the lion? Ooh! The fireworks are ready, Madame Gazelle. Mr. Bull, would you like to be a lion? It would be an honour. Hooray! The dragon dance has begun. This is fun! <laughs> the parents are here to see the dragon dance. Wow! This is amazing! Yes, but where are the fireworks? Oh, the fireworks! I almost forgot! a lovely firework display. Hang on, there's more than that. Wow! This is the best Chinese New Year ever. Peppa loves Chinese New Year. Everybody loves Chinese New Year. The petting farm. Mummy and Daddy Pig are taking Peppa, George and Rebecca Rabbit to visit a petting farm. Mummy? What is a petting farm? It's a place where you get to meet tiny little animals. You can feed them and you can stroke them. Ooh! <laughs> I love ickle little animals. There's just one important rule of the farm. Before and after meeting the animals, we have to wash our hands. Yes, Daddy Pig! 
This is the petting farm. Hello there, my lovelies. I'm Mrs Badger the farmer. Hello. Hello. Now, before we meet the animals, there's one thing we have to do. We have to... Wash our hands. That's right. <laughs> First, we use some soap. It's all bubbling. <laughs> I love bubbles. And now some water. Wash, wash, wash our hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> What kind of animals have you got here, Mrs Badger? We've got chickens. Here are the chickens. It's time for the chickens' lunch. Would you like to feed them? Yes, yes please. please. OK, have a bag of birdseed each. <laughs> here, Chickie, come and eat some seeds. <laughs> <laughs> what lucky chickens. Yes, they certainly are well fed. <laughs> now, who wants to hold a baby chick? Me, 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 me! me, me. <laughs> oh, they're so little. They're so fluffy. They're so sweet. <laughs> it's true. Baby chicks are little and fluffy and sweet. Mrs Badger, what other animals have you got? We've got guinea pigs. Can we see the guinea pigs? Of course. But before you see them, you need to... Wash our hands! That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Ah, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they? <coughs> That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever, and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. Ice cream. Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house today. To me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> Mr Labrador is here in his new ice cream van. Ice cream! Hooray! Everyone is queuing for ice cream. Hello, Mrs. Cat. What flavour would you like? Is the vanilla ice cream nice? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. It is Mr. Labrador's first day selling ice creams. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Would you like one? Yes, please. What's the strawberry flavour like? I I'd better check. Oh, nom, 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 nom. oh, that's nice as well. I want a strawberry ice cream. <laughs> What do you want, George? Ice cream! <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Is the mint ice cream good? Mmm, lovely. Four mint ice creams, please. Thank you, Mr Labrador. 
It is Pepper and George's turn. Can I have a strawberry ice cream, please? Ah, I seem to have run out of strawberry ice cream. Then can I have a vanilla ice cream, please? Oh, there's no vanilla left either. Actually, I've got no ice cream left at all. <laughs> no ice cream? <laughs> hmm, maybe I've tried too many myself. <laughs> yes, maybe you did. Mr Labrador loves ice cream. Don't worry, my little ones. Let's make our own ice cream instead. Can we do that? Yes. We used to make ice cream for your mummy when she was a little piggy. Oh, homemade ice cream. That sounds lovely. <laughs> Up aboard now. Take it back home. Can we have the ice cream music, please? Good idea, Peppa. <laughs> 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 right, let's make ice cream. First, we pour some milk into a jug. Then we add some cream. Now, what flavour would you like your ice cream to be? We do have raspberries and strawberries from the garden. Yes! Let's make raspberry and strawberry ice cream. <laughs> In they go. Then we pour all our ingredients into a freezer bag. Now we need to make it very cold. Ooh. We'll put the ice cream bag into this bag full of ice and salt. And wrap it all in a towel. Now for the fun part. We shake it up and down for five minutes. You can start the shaking, Peppa. Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. <laughs> <laughs> very good, Peppa. Ice cream! Ice cream, ice cream, shake, shake, shake. Ice cream, ice cream is what we make. One last shake from me and I think it might be ready. Did it work? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. It's the best ice cream in the world. Yum, yum. Granny, can all my friends come for ice cream? Of course they can, Peppa. Oh, in that case, we'll need to make a lot more ice cream. Hooray! Hooray! Ice cream! The best ice cream in the world! All of Peppa's friends are here for ice cream. Hooray! Can I have banana? Can we have raspberry? Can I have blueberry, please? Here you go! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Peppa! <laughs> Have you got carrot flavour? Oh, I don't think so. Yes, we do. Made with carrots from my very own garden. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I love ice cream. We all love ice cream, Mr Labrador. Yes, but I really love ice cream. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Muddy festival. Pepper and her family are in their little tent at the children's festival. It has been raining all night and the whole field has become mud. What's it like out there, Daddy Pig? Is there any mud? Um, a little bit of mud, yes. Oh, my goodness! Wow! So much mud! <laughs> Yes, well, it does say it can get a tiny bit muddy here sometimes. A tiny bit muddy? I've never seen so much mud in all my life. It's brilliant. Yes, <laughs> and we've got a whole day at the festival ahead of us. At the children's festival, there are so many fun things to see and do. Hmm. Let's start with making sandcastles. Yippee! Sandcastles! This is the sandcastle area. Who likes making sandcastles? Yay! Now, you might have noticed it's been raining. So instead of sandcastles, we're making mud castles. Hooray! First, fill your buckets with mud. <laughs> Turn your buckets over. Give them a tap. Lift your buckets. 
Mud castles. <laughs> I like mud castles. Mud castles are the best. Well done, Miss Rabbit. How did you ever come up with the idea for mud castles? Simple. It rains every year, so we always make mud castles. Ah. So what do we want to do next? How about painting pictures? Yay! This is the painting tent. <laughs> Today, we're going to paint pictures. And instead of paint, we're using mud. Ooh! We've got lots of brown mud and greenish mud. I even found some blue mud this morning. Hmm, what's best to paint with mud? I know! <coughs> A muddy puddle! <laughs> the children are painting mud pictures. <laughs> Daddy, what are we doing next? Something that's fun. <coughs> Learn all about concrete in the olden days. <gasps> that sounds a bit boring. This is the history of concrete area. OK, so who wants to learn about concrete? Hmm. Okie dokie. Owing to the current mud situation, I've got a better idea. Who wants to do some puddle jumping? Me, me, me! <laughs> My most favourite thing in the whole world is jumping up and down in muddy puddles. And if we're going to jump in puddles... We must wear our boots. That's right. Are you ready? Yes! yes. Then jump! <laughs> oh, oh, my turn! <laughs> Daddy Pig has covered everyone in mud. <laughs> Although I say it myself, that was a good puddle jump. Well done, Daddy Pig. But maybe that's enough mud for one day. Yes. Next up is dancing. Oh, good. I love dancing. Dancing in mud. Great. Hooray! Here is Madame Gazelle with her band. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to dance? Yes! yes! Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish, splash, splash, splish, splash. Give them big splash here and a big splash there. Give a splash, there a splash, everywhere a splish splash. Dance, dance, dance in muddy puddles. Splish splash, splash, splish splash. Yay! This is a very muddy festival. Peppa <laughs> loves the muddy festival. Everyone loves the muddy festival. The marble run. It is a lovely sunny day. Rebecca and Richard Rabbit have come to play with Pepper and George. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer, please? Sorry, Pepper. I need to do my work today. Oh. Why don't you go and play in your room instead? But we don't know what games to play. Oh, there's lots of games you can play. You could have a tea party or do a jigsaw puzzle. We've already played with those things, Mummy. <laughs> What about your marble run? You haven't played with that for ages. Marble run! Pepper and George <laughs> love their marble run. What does it do? Squeak! You pick a marble and you put it in here. And it goes tumble-tumble all the way down to the bottom. Ooh! I'll show you. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> again! Yes! Again! Bye-bye, Mummy. You can go and do your work now. Oh, thank you, Peppa. Have fun. Can I have a go? Yes, Rebecca. You take this marble and you... Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And then you can add some more bits to the marble run. Let's make it the biggest marble run ever. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Let's add this wiggly bit. And a windmill bit. The marble will make it go round and round. Do you want to have a go, George? <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> it's going down the windmill bit. And the wiggly bit. And there. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Let's add more bits. Yes! Let's make the biggest marble run ever! 
<laughs> wow! That looks good, Rebecca. Now it's Richard's turn. Squeak! Bravo, one! Richard has lots of marbles. <laughs> Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Look at all the marbles going everywhere. <laughs> I thought I heard your marble run, Pepper. Can I join in? Yes, Daddy. Oh, goody. Let's make it bigger. Daddy Pig loves building the marble run. Ah, there are no more bits of marble run left in the box. Oh. Never mind. We can use other things, like this jigsaw and this doll's house. We want it even bigger, Daddy. I'll go and see if there's anything in the office we could use. Aha! <laughs> Look, Daddy, we've added some more bits and bobs. Very good. And I've found these tubes to make a tunnel. Wow, the marble will go all around the room. This is the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it out. Oh, can I go first? OK, Daddy. You have to put the marble in there. Ready, steady, go! The marble is going all around the room. Ooh! It's going all around the world. <laughs> there it goes. Dinosaur! <laughs> Where's it going now? The marble has rolled out of the bedroom, down the stairs, through the hallway, and into the front room. The whole house is a marble run. <laughs> it's bouncing everywhere. Ah, Goldie the fish. Whew. Got you. Hooray! <laughs> What was all that noise? It was the noise of the biggest marble run ever. <laughs> Pepper and George have been sailing with Granny and Grandpa Pig. All ashore. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> I'm rather thirsty. Shall we have a juice in the clubhouse? Yes, please. Ah, uh, the clubhouse is a bit stuffy, Grandpa Pig. <laughs> Not much fun for Pepper and George. That's all right, Granny. We only want to juice. It is very quiet in the clubhouse. Could we have four fruit juices, please? Do you have a membership card, sir? Of course. Very good, sir. Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Ah, oh, Grandpa Pig. Good to see you, old bean. Shh. Sorry. What are all these people doing here, Granny? I don't know, Pepper. Mostly sleeping, I think. Oh, what's this? It's a jukebox. <laughs> it plays music. I like music. But it looks like this one hasn't played music in a long time. Four fruit juices. Thank you, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> a jukebox? Yes. But it's not playing music. It might play music if we put a coin in. Uh, we don't want to disturb anybody. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> there wouldn't be a jukebox here if they didn't want us to play it. I suppose so. Let's choose something quiet. Of course. Coin, please. Thank you. <laughs> Now, where's the rock and roll music? Here we are. Rock and roll. <laughs> this is rock and roll music. Come on, George. Rock Let's go. We're going to roll, roll, roll. Rock and roll. We're going to rock. What's all this noise? I am so sorry. Yes, here we should be. Disco music is what you want to play. Disco music? I'll show you. Have you got a coin? Of course. Thank you. Here we go. Get ready to groove on down. Groove on down. Let's go down. Move your feet. 
This is disco music. Move on down to the disco town. <laughs> what a racket! Why don't you play something good? So, what do you think is good music then? Hip hop! Has anyone got a coin? Grandpa has coins. Okay, here you go. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip. This hop. is hip hop music. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Well, I never. <laughs> You got a hip hop. Mrs. Corby is dancing like a robot. Wow! Look at that! With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. With a hip and a hop, you got a hip hop. Is somebody having a party? It is Grumpy Rabbit. Excuse me, sir, but are you a member? No, but I'm with him. Uh, hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Hi there. I heard music. We found a jukebox. Does he play my kind of music? And what, dare I ask, is your kind of music? Heavy metal, of course. And I suppose you need a coin? Thanks, old chap. This is heavy metal music. <laughs> this is the only music to dance to. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit loves dancing to the jukebox. Everybody loves dancing to the jukebox. Strawberries. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Come and see the strawberries I've grown. Grandpa Pig has spent days and days growing strawberries. I think you will be impressed. Perhaps we can make some strawberry jam. <laughs> yes, please. Pepper and George <laughs> love strawberry jam. <laughs> May I present my strawberry? One strawberry? <laughs> You've grown one strawberry? It will be the best tasting strawberry ever. Why is it hiding in a little house, Grandpa? It is hiding because the cheeky little birds have eaten all the rest. Ah! Uh. You cheeky bird! So now there are no strawberries. And we won't make jam. We can still make jam. I know a place that has lots of strawberries. <laughs> it's a strawberry farm. Ooh. So that's where we will go. This is the strawberry farm. Hello there. Have you come to pick strawberries? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Then you've come to the right place. We've got nothing here but strawberries. Wow! So many strawberries! Pick as many as you like. <laughs> here is Pedro Pony with his mummy and daddy. Hello! Hello, Pedro. Have you picked a lot of strawberries? Yes, but my mummy and daddy keep eating them. Oh, is this the way out? I never want to see a strawberry ever again. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. <laughs> Picking strawberries is fun. I must say, these strawberries do look lovely. But the real test is if they taste any good. Actually, that is rather good. Mmm, yummy! I love the strawberry farm. Strawberry, strawberry, juicy, red and sweet. Strawberry, strawberry, they're so nice to eat. Mmm, scrumptious. But remember, everyone, we're here to collect strawberries to take home and make jam. Put them in your baskets and try not to eat too many. Yes, yes Granny, Granny Pig. Pig! I'll just have one last one. <laughs> I suppose one more won't hurt. Naughty Granny! Naughty Grandpa! Right you are, Pepper. This really is the very last one. <laughs> I can't stop eating them. Hello, birdies. Have you come to eat the strawberries? The little birds do not want to eat the strawberries. Perhaps they have just eaten too many, Pepper. <coughs> Yes, I think I've eaten too many. Oh. Peppa's basket is full. George's basket is full. Granny and Grandpa's baskets are empty. 
Granny, Grandpa, where are your strawberries? Oh, in our tummies. Maybe it's time to go home. Here is Danny Dog with his mummy and daddy. They have just arrived at the strawberry farm. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Danny. Look at all these strawberries. Oh, don't say that word. What? Strawberries? Oh. How strange. I suppose some people just don't like strawberries. I see you've picked a lot of strawberries. Oh. Where's the way out? The way out is just through the gift shop. What do you sell in your shop, Miss Rabbit? Strawberry cake, strawberry cookies, strawberry cheese, strawberry juice, strawberry sweets, strawberry... Anything without strawberries? Uh, no. I think we've had our fill of strawberries, thank you. Funny, no one ever buys anything from this shop. Miss Rabbit, look at how many strawberries we picked. <laughs> well done, Pepper and George. Now we can make strawberry jam! Oh. <laughs> Pepper and George love strawberries. Everyone loves strawberries. Breakfast Club! Pepper and her friends are going to play group earlier than usual this morning. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Who knows why we have come to play group early today? Isn't because we didn't learn enough things yesterday? No, Danny, that is not the reason. Is it because you like us so much? Well, I do like you all, but it is not the reason. Is it a very special day today? Yes, Pedro. We have all come to play group early because today is Breakfast Club. Ooh! And who knows what we do at Breakfast Club? Eat our breakfast! Correct! I love eating breakfast. So do I. Me too. Everyone <laughs> loves eating breakfast. And why is it so important to have a good breakfast? Because breakfast wakes your mouth up. So we can do lots of talking. Talk, 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 talk. Yes, yes, thank you, Peppa. <laughs> <laughs> I eat breakfast because it tastes nice. Yes, Pedro. And breakfast gives us energy to use throughout the day. Uh... What is energy? Energy is the strength and vitality required for physical or mental activity. That's right, Edmund. <laughs> so, Rebecca, what do you use your energy for? I use it for hopping. <laughs> Very good. I use energy for thinking. What's he doing? Edmund is thinking. Yes, I was thinking. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> it can take a lot of energy to think. Ooh. And now we will all choose what to have for breakfast. We have bread, cheese, jam, porridge, yogurt. May I have carrots for my breakfast, please? Yes, you may. Can I have cereal, please? Of course you can. <laughs> Madam Gazelle? Can I have toast, please? Yes, Susie. I shall make you some toast. Does anyone else want toast? No, no thank, thank you. you. OK. The bread goes in here, and we push this lever down. The toaster gets very hot, so please do not touch it. And wait for it. It's coming any minute. Hopla! Got it! Wow! Can I have toast, please? I'm I'm me, I'm me. Me. Everybody wants toast for breakfast. Well, in that case, I will have to use the big toaster. Ooh. It's a super toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Plates ready, everyone. Wait for it. Here it comes. Whee! <laughs> Everyone has caught their toast. Again, again, again! No, children, eat the toast you have first. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have honey on my toast, please? Can I have marmalade, please? Of course, children. I'm having strawberry jam on mine. I'm having honey, marmalade and 
strawberry jam on my toast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting lots of energy in my tummy. So am I. I'm getting strawberry jam energy. I'm getting honey jam and marmalade energy. Everyone has lots and lots of energy. And now it is time for us to do a breakfast bounce. Follow me. <laughs> Use the energy from the food to get our bodies and minds ready for the day. Copy me, children. Egg, apple, yogurt, pancake and toast. Which one for breakfast do I like the most? Toast, honey, egg, jam, toast, toast, toast. Breakfast is over and everyone is ready to start the day. In the future. Peppa is at Susie Sheep's house this evening. Mummy Sheep and Mummy Pig are going out. Don't worry, Mummy. We can look after the house while you're away. That's very kind of you, Susie. But we have a special babysitter coming. That'll be her now. <coughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. It's my cousin, Charlotte. Charlotte Sheep <laughs> is the babysitter. Hello, Charlotte. Thanks for coming. We won't be out late. You can watch TV and I've made you some pizza. Oh, thank you. You two be good. We will. Bye. Bye-bye. How old are you, Charlotte? I'm 17. 17? That's very grown up. You can do anything you like when you're grown up. That's right. You can drive a car and even stay up late. Wow! In the future, when you're grown up, you'll be able to do that too. Ooh! But grown ups also have to go to work, you know. That sounds fun. Can we stay up late with you, Charlotte? Sorry, it's your bedtime now. Oh. <laughs> night, night. Sleep well. Night, night. night. <sighs> Susie. Yes? Are you awake? Yes. I wish I was grown up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> when we're grown up, we will be downstairs watching TV and eating pizza. Yes. And babysitting. And going to the cinema. And staying up all night. <laughs> <laughs> In the future, we will have a yellow car. No, blue. Yellow and blue. <laughs> I'll drive. So will I. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy Dog will be a spaceman. Yes! I'm off to space. <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. Dinosaur girl. <laughs> and Freddy Fox will be a policeman. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this here, then? This is our grown-up car. Can you beep your horn for me, please? <laughs> Very good. Off you go, then. Bye. Bye! What will your job be? I will be a nurse. But in my lunch break, I will fly a plane. Good afternoon, everybody. We are now flying all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> what will your job be, Peppa? My job will be doing important work on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> In a big house with fountains and a swing, <laughs> and I will marry Pedro or Danny, and I'll do that too. <laughs> <laughs> and we will live with all our friends. Hello, and all our children will be there. <laughs> <laughs> but who will look after all these children? We will. Bedtime, everybody. Time for your tea. No football in the house. Phew. Phew. Mummy Pig and Mummy Sheep have arrived back home. Hello. Has everything been okay? Yes, everything's been fine. Hello. Are you two still awake? Yes, Mummy. We've been thinking about the future. 
It's very tiring being a grown-up. Yes, it is. <sighs> we need to get some rest. Yes, you do. Good night, little ones. Good night, grown-ups. Pepper and Susie need a good night's rest to be ready for the future. Mandy Mouse's birthday. Today is Mandy Mouse's birthday. As a special treat, Mandy is going to Cheese World with her friends. Mandy, what is Cheese World? It's the most fun ever! There's a cheese river, a cheese mountain and a cheese sky. Wow! And best of all is the cheese castle, where you get to smell cheese. <laughs> you like cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cheese World. Have any of you been here before? Yes, I have. Oh, hello, Mandy. Nice to see you back again. <laughs> so, as Mandy already knows, everything at Cheese World is about... Cheese! That's right! And we start by sailing on a river of... Cheese! <laughs> this is the River of Cheese. All aboard! Hold tight, everyone! Miss Rabbit, are the boats made out of real cheese? No, the boats are made out of plastic. Boats made out of real cheese would be bizarre. Ah. Oh. The Cheese River flows past hills and trees of cheese. <laughs> this is the Cheese Mountain. Ooh! Is this mountain made out of real cheese? No, but this is exactly what it would be like to sail through a cheese mountain. Oh. If cheese mountains existed. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the cheese aeroplanes. Wow! Now, has anyone flown one of these planes before? I have. Of course. Hi there, Mandy. <laughs> Can you show your friends what to do? Yes. <laughs> if you pull the lever, the plane goes up. Wow! And if you push the lever, the plane goes down. Ooh! All aboard your aeroplanes! <laughs> up, up, and away! <laughs> this is brilliant! <laughs> There's the cheese sun. <laughs> and the clouds are cottage cheese. I can see the whole world. And it's all cheese. Ooh. Was that fun? Yes! yes! Told you it would be the most fun ever. <laughs> Hello, Mandy Mouse. Lovely to see you at Cheese World again. Hello, Grumpy Rabbit. Have you told your friends about my castle of cheese? I told them the castle of cheese was the best bit. Oh, right. It's where we get to smell real cheese. No pretend cheese here. Ooh. Follow me, if you dare, into my castle of cheese. <laughs> Let's start by smelling a mild cheese. Mmm, that smells good. I like it too. Not much of a smell. <laughs> Now for some decently strong cheese. Ah, that's more like it. A proper stinky one. Ooh, it smells like my daddy's socks. <laughs> and now, boys and girls, we come to the strongest cheese in the whole world. Here goes. <laughs> That's what I call cheese. Mmm, it's the nicest smell I've ever smelt. <laughs> you do so love cheese, don't you, Mandy? Yes, Mummy. I like smelling cheese and I like eating cheese even more. <laughs> Funny you should say that because it's time for your birthday cake. And it's a cheesecake! Happy birthday, Mandy! This is my best birthday ever! <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed in their very best clothes. Today is Grandpa Pig's birthday. A party! 
party, a party. We're going to a party. You know, it's not really a party, Pepper. What do you mean? It's just a nice, quiet meal in a restaurant on Grandpa Pig's birthday. And you haven't been to a restaurant before, have you? No. So that will be fun, won't it? Yes. <laughs> Pepper and her family have arrived at the restaurant. Ooh, this is nice. <laughs> we can sit here. No, Pepper, come back. Why? We have to be shown to our table by the waiter. <clears throat> have you booked a table? We're with Grandpa Pig. Please, uh, follow me. Hello. 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 Are you here for the party? Shush, Pepper. These people are having their own meals. And remember, it's not really a party. Oh. Peppa! George! Happy birthday, Grandpa! <laughs> Is this my birthday card? Yes. We made it ourselves. It's lovely. But it's sad it's not a real birthday party. I think I'm a bit too old for a real party, Peppa. <laughs> I think Grandpa would rather have a nice, quiet meal. With party hats! <laughs> oh, Peppa, that's not a hat, it's a napkin. The napkins are to stop food and drink getting on your best clothes. <clears throat> would you like to order drinks, madame? Could we have a bottle of water, please? Of course. Can I get you anything else? Party hats, please! Party hats? Yes. Because it is my grandpa's birthday. A grandpa pig's birthday. I'll see what I can do. Pepper, they don't have party hats in posh restaurants like this. Et voilà, party hats. <laughs> oh, party hats. Oh, uh, thank you. Are you ready to order food? Yes, yes please. please. On the menu today, we have dried fish with seaweed cheese, strained carrot on a mussel cuff, or cream of sweet in a vegetable sug. Um, I think I might try the, uh, strained carrot on a mussel cough. Uh, cream of sweet for me, please. Perhaps the dried fish... Uh, same again, please. And for the children? Spaghetti, please! Spaghetti! Pepper and George <laughs> love spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti is not on the menu, but I will ask the chef. Pepper, you can't ask for things that aren't on the menu. Strained carrot, cream of sweet, dried fish, and for the children, the chef has made spaghetti. Hooray! Spaghetti! Bon appetit. <laughs> mm. Actually, it's my birthday. Could I have the spaghetti too, please? And me. And me. And me. And, and, me. Me. and me. Everybody loves spaghetti. Would you like some cheese on your spaghetti? Cheese! And balloons, please. Balloons? Of course. Mm. Marvellous. Lovely. Balloons! Hooray! <laughs> this is starting to feel like a birthday party. The only thing missing is the cake. Oh! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Grandpa Big! Blow out the candles, Grandpa. <gasps> Birthday party music, please. <laughs> <laughs> this is such fun. <laughs> Happy birthday, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Butterflies. Today, Dr. Hamster is at Pepper and George's playgroup. Hello, everybody. Hello, Dr. Hamster. Dr. Hamster has brought an exciting creature to show us all. 
Can you guess what animal it is? Is it a whale? No, it's smaller than a whale. Is it an ant? No, it's bigger than an ant. Is it a big ant? It's a caterpillar. Wow! Lots of caterpillars. Yes. There's a stripy one. The stripes help it to hide in the grass. There's a furry one. <laughs> Can we stroke it? Uh, no, Molly. It might give you an itchy rash. The spotty one is eating a leaf. Yes. Caterpillars like eating leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Let's colour in our very own paper caterpillars. Hooray! <laughs> I'm doing a spotty one. <laughs> I'm doing an orange one. I think black and white stripes look nice. <laughs> well done, everyone. Now, who can tell me what this is here? It's a leaf. It might look like a leaf, but it's not. It is a chrysalis, which is a shell for a caterpillar to hide in while it sleeps. Ooh! Is it like a cosy bed? Sort of. But when you go to sleep and wake up in your cosy bed, you're still Peppa Pig. Yes! But when the caterpillar wakes up in its chrysalis, it has turned into something completely different. Can you guess what it turns into? A whale! A pirate! Has it turned into a super caterpillar? No, none of those. Look, it's moving! The chrysalis is hatching. Ooh, what is it? Dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's, it's a, a butterfly. butterfly. The caterpillar has turned into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Who wants to decorate one of these paper butterfly wings? Me, 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 me. <laughs> All the children are making beautiful butterfly wings. <laughs> oh, lovely. Can we do a butterfly dance? Yes, but we don't start as butterflies, do we, children? No. no. What was the butterfly before it was a butterfly? A caterpillar. That's right. First, you should do the caterpillar dance. Yay! <laughs> You're all caterpillars wiggling around on the ground. <laughs> I'm the wiggliest caterpillar. Me too. I'm a super caterpillar. <laughs> and now it's time to go to sleep. Be very still, children. Imagine that you're nice and safe inside a cosy chrysalis. And you are changing into something different. Madame Gazelle and Dr Hamster are secretly putting the wings on the children. Now it's time to wake up and open your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I've got wings! Me too! We're butterflies! <laughs> Pedro Pony is fast asleep. Vicky, Vicky, Pedro! <gasps> what is it, Mummy? Am I late for school? No, you are at school. Oh, I'm a butterfly. Nay. No. Yes, we're all butterflies. butterflies. We are little butterflies who like to play. We flap our pretty wings and we play all day. We are little butterflies flying through the sky and we flap, flap, flap as we flutter by. <laughs> Peppa loves being a butterfly. Everyone loves being a butterfly. Buried treasure. <laughs> Molly Mole and Freddy Fox have come to play with Peppa and George. What shall we play? Let's do digging. Um, I'm not very good at digging. I am. Squeak. Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Mole is good at digging. Wow! Molly's digging a long tunnel. <laughs> oh, I found something. What is it? Wow. wow! It's a pirate treasure chest. I wonder how it got there. It's a mystery. <laughs> We'd better tell my daddy. 
My goodness, where did this hole come from? Daddy, Daddy, we found some pirate treasure at the end of our tunnel. Treasure? How did it get there? We don't know. It's a mystery. Maybe we should call the police. <laughs> They'll know what to do. This is the police station. Hello, police station. Hello, it's Daddy Pig here. We found some pirate treasure. Pirate treasure, you say? We'll be right there. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. That is how the police say hello. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. <laughs> so, where's this pirate treasure then? Under the ground. <laughs> we were just digging this tunnel when suddenly we found this. Yes, yes, yes. That's pirate treasure, all right. It's just like the pirate treasure we have back at the police station. Let's take this back and put it with the other one. Oh, dear. Police officer Panda is dropping coins along the way. Right. Back to the police station. <laughs> Can we have the Nina, please? Why not? Nina, Nina! This way to the lost property. Down here is where we keep all the lost things. Wow! Umbrellas, shoes, a lamppost, even a lost cupboard. Ah, oh, that's not lost, Freddy. This is where we keep the pirate treasure. Oh, it's gone. That's strange. Another mystery. Hello, hello, hello. There's a hole in the wall. And a tunnel. Someone has dug a hole and taken our treasure chest down the tunnel. A criminal mastermind, no doubt. I wonder where he goes. Look, there are coins on the floor. Uh-huh, a trail. Let's follow the trail. We'll soon find out who took our treasure. We're outside my house. And the trail of coins ends. Now we'll never know who took the treasure from the police station. It's a mystery. I know who took it. Who? We did. Eh? Follow me. <laughs> This is the tunnel we dug this morning. Yes. It goes all the way back to the police station. And? We didn't know it was the police station, but this is where we found the treasure. So you found the pirate treasure that was in our lost property cupboard. Yes. Mystery solved. Well done, Freddy. Hooray! Hooray! That was excellent police work. Yes. I do believe you'll make a very good police officer one day. Just remember to keep your ears and eyes open. <laughs> Who left that lamppost there? That's not a safe place for a lamppost. I'll make a note. Dangerous obstruction in workplace environment. Ho, ho. You see, children, a police officer's work is never done. And the mystery of the buried pirate treasure is solved. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Christmas at the hospital. It is Christmas Day. Pepper and her family are opening their presents. Ah, yes. Socks. Just what I always wanted. Oh, I've got socks too. Lovely. I wonder if you've got socks, Pepper. I hope not. Hooray! A toy car! Vroom, vroom. Don't be sad if it sucks, George. Airplane! Yeah. Oh, what a fantastic Christmas. <laughs> yes. All I want to do now is sit back and do nothing for the rest of the day. <laughs> Peppa, yeah. George, careful, or you might trip and fall. Ow! My eye! Oh dear, Pepper has tripped and bumped her arm. Hmm, I think we should call Dr. Brown Bear. Dr. Brown Bear speaking. A bumped arm, you say? And on Christmas Day, I'll be right there. Yay! 
So, Peppa, bumped your arm, have you? Yes. Can you wiggle your fingers? That's very good. But just to be safe, we'll take a trip to the hospital. This is the hospital. Miss Rabbit is the nurse. Who's next? <laughs> that will be me. Wait, we have a sick child. Oh, a child. A child, yes. That's more important than me. Miss Rabbit will take you from here, Peppa. Yes, just follow me, please. Oh, Miss Rabbit, the hospital is all Christmassy. Looks lovely, doesn't it? Hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Pedro. Why are you here? I bumped my arm. I banged my leg and I got a sticker. Wow! Sit yourself down and tell me where it hurts. Here, on my arm. Can you wiggle your fingers? A little bit. Can you say banana? Banana? That was a joke, to make you feel relaxed. <laughs> Do you feel relaxed? Yes. Good. We just need to take a picture of your arm with the X-ray. Ooh, what's the X-ray? It shows us the bones inside your body. How does it work? It uses a cathode and anode controlled beam of electromagnetic... It's magic! Ma Ooh! The X-ray shows your arm will be fine, Peppa. And for being so brave, you get a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Look, I got a sticker. That's nice. Oh, Pedro, you look sad. I'm sad because Father Christmas hasn't been. What? Haven't you got your Christmas present? No, not yet. Right, who's next? Ah, oh, good. At last. Ho, ho, ho. <gasps> Father, Father Christmas. Christmas. Father Christmas. Yes, he's much more important than me. <gasps> Father Christmas. Sit yourself down, Mr Christmas, and tell me where it hurts. Oh, no. I'm not here because I'm ill. I'm here with Pedro's Christmas present. Thank you. I wonder what it is. Hopefully it's not socks. Hooray! A toy boat. Sorry I'm a bit late, but I got my tummy stuck in a chimney. Those chimneys get smaller every year. Oh, dear. Tummy stuck in a chimney? Maybe I should just give you a quick check-up. Open wide. Say ho, ho, ho for me, please. Ho, ho, ho. Good. You're fine. Have a sticker. Thank you, Miss Rabbit, for looking after everyone at Christmas time. Just doing my job, Father Christmas. Just doing my job. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. <laughs> the Potatoes, Fruit and Vegetable Quiz. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. It is good to eat five fruit and vegetables every day. Children, Mr Potato has come to find out how much we all know about fruit and vegetables. We know everything about fruit and vegetables. And I know everything about carrots. Good, because today we are going to have a fruit and vegetable quiz. Ooh. What is a quiz? A quiz is where I ask you a question, and if you know the answer, you press the buzzer. Ah. We will need two teams. Peppa, Rebecca and Pedro will be on one team. Susie, Danny and Mandy will be on the other team. <laughs> Let's begin. Our first question is, which of these is not a vegetable? Lettuce, radish, celery or a car? <laughs> A car is not a vegetable. That is right. Hooray! Next question. A chocolate biscuit is a fruit. Yes or no? Yes, it's a fruit. My daddy eats five chocolate biscuits every day. Have another guess, Pedro. Is a chocolate biscuit a fruit? Uh, 
No. That's right. Hooray! And now, the fruit or vegetable questions. Fruit or vegetable? I hope he asks about carrots. What is a strawberry? Fruit or vegetable? A strawberry is a fruit. Yes! A watermelon. Fruit or vegetable? A watermelon is a fruit. Yes! A cabbage. Fruit or vegetable? A cabbage is a vegetable. Yes! A tomato. Fruit or vegetable? Vegetable! Fruit! A tomato is a vegetable, not a fruit. No! A tomato is a fruit, not a vegetable. Would you like to call a friend? Yes, please! Call a friend! Tell me, which of your friends might know the answer? Edmund Elephant! Then let's telephone Edmund the Elephant! Hooray! It's for you. Hello? Hello, Edmund. Is a tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Some people think a tomato is a fruit because it has seeds. But in the 19th century, the Port Authority of New York classified tomatoes as vegetables, which were subject to a 10% import tax. So I will say you are both right. Hooray! Well done, Edmund the Elephant. Are you ready for the last question of the quiz? Yes! I hope it's a question about carrots. Rebecca, you always talk about carrots. I like carrots. <laughs> Name that vegetable. Name that vegetable. I will describe a vegetable and you will tell me what it is. I am orange and I grow in the ground. What am I? Uh... Rebecca, what's your favourite vegetable? Uh, a carrot? That's right! A carrot! Hooray! <laughs> Both teams win the fruit and vegetable quiz! We win! Hooray! <laughs> Everybody wins with fruit and vegetable. Pepper and her playgroup are visiting the museum. This way, children, follow me. Here is Miss Rabbit. Hello, everyone. Has anyone ever been to a museum before? Yes. yes. Good. Then you know that in a museum you can look but not touch. Because everything in a museum is very delicate. Oops. Yes, these old things break easily. But today we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky. Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy! Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. It's easy! Oh, my goodness! How does that work? Well, it's a... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes, that's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! A tube! Hello! Susie Sheep here! Oh! Where are you? I am here! Where? I can't see you! Let's find the end of the tube! <laughs> here I am! <laughs> Hello! Susie Sheep here! Amazing! Oh, maybe in the future this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, uh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? Magic balloons! 
Get your magic balloons here. Are they really magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please. All we need to do is rub it like this and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic, but static. How does it work? No idea. Protons are said to have a charge of plus one electron unit, while electrons have a charge of minus one. Which explains static. What does that bang? Hello, children! Here is Grumpy Rabbit. Now it's time for some dangerous science. <laughs> Don't be alarmed. There is a responsible adult in charge. Me. Who wants to ride in this rocket? Me, me, me! Pepper, kindly jump in. Um, are you sure this is completely safe? Of course it's safe. Now, Pepper, put your hands against mine. On the count of three, push! One, two, three, push! Wow! I'm moving! Yes! That's called propulsion! Ah! But real rockets use rocket fuel to blast off. Who wants to fly in this rocket? Me! It has to be someone small. There's not much room inside. I'm small! Perfect! In you get, Edmund! And uh, this is completely safe for children too? Yes, the rocket just flies itself. No, I meant... Off you go. Oh, my goodness! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> Lucky the museum has a high ceiling! <laughs> and that is how rocket propulsion works. That was fun! It was brilliant! It was, uh... Unbelievable! <laughs> Pepper loves the Science Museum. Everyone loves the Science Museum. Pizza, pizza! <laughs> it is almost lunchtime at Pepper's house. What does everyone fancy for lunch today? Um, can we have pizza? Pizza, pizza! Good idea. Let's make pizza. Ho, ho! I'm a bit of an expert at making pizza. Can George and me help? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> to make pizza, we need flour, tomatoes, cheese, and for toppings, we've got all sorts of nice things. Sweet corn, mushrooms, olives, pineapple. <laughs> George likes pineapple on his pizza. Ah, pineapple on pizza? No, that's just not right. In fact, I think pineapple on pizza is against the law. <laughs> Silly daddy. <laughs> it is actually not against the law to put pineapple on pizza. Um, daddy, can we make funny faces on top of the pizzas? Of course we can. But before we start cooking, we have to wash our hands. Wash, 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 wash our hands, hands, wash them nice and clean. Let's wipe the table clean and put our aprons on. <laughs> right, let's make pizza. Pizza, pizza! Pepper, George, could you please mix this flour and water together with your fingers? <laughs> it's all sticky and stretchy. <laughs> Perfect. I'm just going to knead it. We sprinkle a little flour on the table so the dough doesn't stick. You need to be big and strong to knead dough. <laughs> I am big and strong. <laughs> and George is big and strong too. <laughs> OK, that's enough kneading. Let's make the dough into four balls. One, two, three... Four. And we roll them flat with a rolling pin. Ah, it looks like a pizza now. <laughs> but an expert pizza maker doesn't need a rolling pin. Watch this. Hoopla! <gasps> <laughs> Daddy has a pizza. 
foot on his head. Ho, ho! <laughs> this one can be mine. <laughs> Pepper, George, please smooth the tomato over the pizzas. <laughs> I like making pizza. It's lovely and messy. <laughs> Good. That's enough smoothing and splashing. Now for the cheese. Remember, Daddy, we're making funny faces. Of course. I'll use mushrooms to make eyes and olives for the smile. And I'll use onion for eyes and basil leaves for the mouth. I'm doing little tomatoes for the eyes and sweet corn for the mouth. George is using pineapple for the eyes and cheese for the mouth. <laughs> I like funny faces. While they cook, we can tidy up all this mess. Um, you and Mummy can tidy up and George and I can do some playing. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Pepper and George like playing. Mummy and Daddy Pig like tidying up. <laughs> Peppa! George! Lunch is ready! Yay! <laughs> Mummy, your pizza looks like you! Oh, thank you very much! And your pizza looks like you, Daddy! It looks nothing like me! <laughs> I must say, your pizza does look like you, Peppa. Does it? Oh, goody! And George's looks like George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the best pizzas in the world ever. <laughs> Peppa loves pizza. Everybody loves pizza. TV Land. Peppa and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> I love watching Super Potato! Me too! Super Potato is the best! Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive! Always remember to eat your five! Always remember to eat your five! We've seen this before! I know all the words by heart! Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic. Magic, it's science! Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. please! OK, let's go to TV Land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children. <laughs> And we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow. wow! Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. Pop, 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 Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light. Camera. And action! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut! That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmission. 
transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter? ...sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course. Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day. Hundreds and hundreds of times. Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. <laughs> Peppa and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. They are painting pictures of Polly Parrot. My goodness! What lovely paintings, Peppa and George. <laughs> Look at my pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> pretty picture, Polly. <laughs> Polly Parrot copies everything that is said. I'll put them up here for Granny Pig to see when she gets home. But where is Granny Pig? Oh, she's just out playing with her friends. <laughs> here is Granny Pig with her friends. Granny Pig! Hello, my little ones. Have you had a nice morning? Yes, thank you, Granny. Why are you wearing funny clothes? We have been doing historical reenactment. What's hysterical reenactment? It's when you dress up like it's the olden days. And sit around drinking tea. We do more than just drink tea. <coughs> Today, we were being Romans. What's Romans? Romans were people who lived a very long time ago. And I am the emperor. The emperor was the boss of all the Romans. Ooh. Goodbye. See you next week, Granny Pig. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Granny, can we be Romans too? Yes, Peppa. Here are some helmets. <laughs> Now what do we do? We march around saying Veni, Vidi, Vici. What does that mean, Granny? It probably means anyone for another cup of tea. No. <laughs> it means I came, I saw, I conquered. Veni, Vidi, Vici. Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Granny Pig loves being a Roman. Veni, Vidi, Vici. <laughs> Pepper and George love being Romans too. Pepper and George have been doing some lovely pictures this morning. My goodness, they're very good. They look just like Polly. Just like Polly. <laughs> <laughs> the Romans like making pictures too, you know. Did they? Yes. They used coloured pieces to make pictures, known as mosaics. Here's one I made this morning. Ooh. Can we make a mosaic? What a good idea. You'll need some coloured pebbles. Follow me. I've got a whole bag of pebbles in my shed. This is Grandpa Pig's shed. Here we are. Lots of coloured pebbles. <laughs> George, what shall we make a picture of? Dinosaur. Good idea, George. You find the green pebbles for the dinosaur. <laughs> find blue pebbles and make a lovely sky. Pepper and George are making a Roman mosaic of a dinosaur. George adds some green pebbles. <laughs> Pepper adds some blue pebbles. George, the red ones can be the eyes. <laughs> Finished! Well done, Pepper and George. My word, you've got rather muddy. <laughs> Time for a bath before Mummy and Daddy Pig come to pick you up. No! Oh dear, George does not want to have a bath. 
But George, the Romans were very good at having baths. And you're a Roman, aren't you? Yes, George. Let's have a Roman bath. <laughs> Pepper and George are having a Roman bath. <laughs> it's Mummy and Daddy. Here are Mummy and Daddy Pig. Ah, oh, Tempus Fugit. What does that mean? It means time flies. Tempus Fugit. Ah, oh, Tempus Fugit. <laughs> Tempus Fugit. <laughs> Hello. Mummy, Daddy, we've been playing Romans. Tempus Fugit. Ooh. And with these crowns of leaves, you are both Roman emperors. Hooray! Benny Vidi Vici. Pepper and George love being Romans. Everybody loves being Romans. The Panda Twins. Pepper is going to play group with her friends. Peggy and Pandora Panda are coming too for their first day at playgroup. Have a great day, girls. We will, Daddy. Remember to keep your ears and eyes open. Yes, Daddy. <laughs> I will ring you later to let you know how they are getting on. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mademoiselle. Today, two new pupils are joining our playgroup. Pandora Panda. Hello. And Peggy Panda. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Wow, you both look the same. That's because we're identical twins. Identical <laughs> twins look like each other. Do people get you mixed up? Sometimes, but it's okay. We're used to it. Peggy, Pandora, as it is your first time at playgroup, you may both choose what we do today. Hmm, we like solving mysteries and we like doing puzzles. Mysteries and puzzles. Let me see. Yes, we have a jigsaw puzzle. Hooray! We love jigsaws. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like a cloud. And here is the sun. Maybe they fit together. No, they don't fit. Try turning that piece around. Now they fit. Where does this piece go? Hmm, try putting the blue sky with the blue sky. It fits! <laughs> And the green grass with the green grass. The jigsaw <laughs> is finished. It's a picture of a house on a sunny day. Well done, children. <laughs> that was great teamwork. Are you enjoying your day, Pandora, Peggy? Yes, thank you. We love doing puzzles and solving mysteries. Our daddy is a policeman. Ooh. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars. With flashing lights. And they go... Nina, 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 Nina. Yes, yes. Perhaps now is a good time to phone your daddy and let him know how we're getting on. Oh, where is my phone? I must have put it down somewhere. Have you lost your phone, Madam Gazelle? Yes, I had it just now. Where can it be? Where did you last see it? If I knew that, Susie... I wouldn't be looking for it, would I? Why don't you always put things in the same place, Madam Gazelle? Then you will know where they are. Well, that is very good advice, Susie. But it is not always possible to put something down in the same place every time. We can help you find it. No, I think it is lost. Oh, what a mystery. Our daddy always says, keep your ears and eyes open. Yes? Well, if we keep our ears open and somebody calls your phone, then we will hear it ringing. And find my phone. Good idea. <laughs> Peggy and Pandora are very good at solving mysteries. So, who here has a phone? Madam Gazelle, we are little children. Little children do not have mobile phones. Oh, yes, of course. Hello. Hello! The parents have arrived to pick up the children. Good afternoon, mummies and daddies. Could I ask one of you to call my phone, please? I can ring you, Madam Gazelle, but is it not easier to talk to you? I have lost my phone. If you call it... We will hear it ringing. And then you will find your phone. I understand. Brilliant. Oh, it's in my handbag. 
again. It was in your handbag all the time. Yes. Sorry about that, everyone. What a clever idea to call your phone to find it. That was Peggy and Pandora's idea. What? You solved the case of the missing phone? Yes. That's my girls. Peggy and Pandora Panda <laughs> love solving mysteries. Everybody loves solving mysteries. <laughs> Pepper and George are spending the day at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Grandpa Pig! Papa Egg. <laughs> Hello, Pepper and George. Bye. See you later. Bye. 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 Hello, Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Granny Pig is wearing a space suit. Why is Granny dressed as a space person? Oh, Granny is playing another little game with her friends. I'm doing an important historical reenactment. It's about when people first landed on the moon a long time ago. Ooh! Follow me. If you ask me, it's just an excuse to have cups of tea and some cake. System checks complete, Granny. Rocket is ready for blast off. Wow! A rocket! Yes! It's Grampy Rabbits. He's kindly lent it to us for the day. What excitement! I'll just get the rocket ready for its blast off to the moon. <laughs> Granny? Are we really going to the moon? No, Peppa. It's just pretend. Ah! We are going to pretend the garden is the moon and do the things they did on the first moon landing. We will plant a flag and we will collect moon rocks. Just be careful of my rockery. Don't worry, Grandpa Pig. We will be very careful. Well, while you play your game, I think I'll make myself useful getting the tea and cakes ready. Have fun. All aboard, everyone. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Oh, well, I suppose six, these harmless little garden five, games keep Granny four, happy. Three, two, one. We have finished off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Grampy Rabbit's rocket has really taken off. Why does the game have to be so noisy? Grampy Rabbit! This was just meant to be pretend. Pretend? What would be the fun in that? So, are we really going to the moon? We certainly are. It's a space adventure of a lifetime. If we're really going to the moon, I suppose our reenactment will be even better. Grampy Rabbit's rocket has landed on the moon. It's one small step for Granny Pig. And one giant leap for Grampy Rabbit! Woohoo! Come on, Pepper and George! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> the moon is very bouncy! Yes, Pepper. We can jump very high on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> These games of grannies. I hope they're not messing up my garden. <laughs> the first people to land on the moon planted a flag to show that they had been there. Ooh. <laughs> Excellent, George. And they collected rocks. This is a pretty rock. Well done, Pepper. We can take that moon rock home with us. Did Grandpa Pig mention cups of tea for later? Yes. I think we've earned it. Let's go home. Three, two, one, and go! The rocket is flying back home. My goodness! Granny's garden game is getting even noisier. How did the game go? We went to the moon. Super. It's true. We really did go to the moon. Of course you did, Granny Pig. And we brought you back a moon rock. Lovely. It will sit very nicely in my rockery. <laughs> I love space adventures. Everyone loves space adventures.
Mandy Mouse. Peppa and her friends are at playgroup. They are drawing pictures. Children, today we have a visitor. Ooh. Mandy Mouse. Hello, everyone. Squeak. Hello. Hello. Mandy Mouse uses a wheelchair to get around. Mandy is spending the day at our playgroup. If she likes it, she will come every day. See you later, Mandy. Have fun. Bye, Mummy. Hello, Mandy. I'm Peppa Pig. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, I'm Danny Dog. <coughs> and I'm Susie Sheep. <laughs> We're drawing pictures. I drew the sun. Ooh. I drew a cloud. Ooh. I drew the sky. That's nice. I like drawing aeroplanes. Wow! That's a really good drawing. Thank you. <laughs> it is playtime. <laughs> that was fun. Wow, you're fast. All thanks to my wheelchair. <laughs> Why do you have a wheelchair, Mandy? Because my legs don't work like yours. Can you walk on your legs? No, I have my wheels. <laughs> See, I get around fine. I can do everything. Squeak! <laughs> <laughs> Let's play ball. Yes, please. Squeak! Okay, Mandy, you're on my team. <laughs> Susie, you're on my team. <laughs> Gerald, <laughs> Pedro, no. Molly, and Emily. <laughs> the children are in two teams. How do you play this game? The captain takes the ball and throws it over there. No, I know the rules, and you're the not one holding them. Them. I say you do it this that way. That is the rules because I said so. <laughs> <laughs> what about the team who gets the ball through the hoop? Wins. <laughs> okay. And they're off. <laughs> Emily Elephant catches the ball. Now Susie has it. Pass to Pedro. And now to Pepper. Mandy takes the ball. Pass to Danny. <laughs> to Molly. And up high in the sky. Caught by Mandy Mouse. <laughs> to Gerald Giraffe. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> Mandy, you're good. I know. I'm brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Children, playtime is over. <laughs> <laughs> can I help you? No, I'll be fine. <laughs> I can do it by myself. <laughs> I like... Hills. It is a big hill. Yes, it is a big hill. Maybe if you could help push. OK. Thank you, Peppa. I could do it on my own, but it's easier with two. I'm not used to big hills. Where I lived before, it was all flat. Everything is on a hill around here. My house is on a hill. The supermarket is on a hill. Rebecca Rabbit lives inside a hill. <laughs> it's all hills, hills, hills. <laughs> have we all had fun today, children? Yes! <laughs> Parents have arrived to pick up the children. Aw, is it home time already? Yes, Mandy, it's home time. Hello, my sweet. Mummy! So, Mandy, you came today to see if you liked our playgroup. Yes. And do you like our playgroup? Yes, I love it. And would you like to come every day? Yes, please. Hooray! <laughs> Mandy Mouse loves the playgroup and everyone at playgroup loves Mandy Mouse. <laughs> botanical Gardens. Today, Pepper and George are going to the Botanical Gardens. Miss Rabbit is head gardener. Welcome to the Botanical Gardens, where we grow plants from all around the world. Ooh. 
Our first garden is a wildflower meadow. It will look nice when you've tidied it up a bit. This is what wildflower meadows are meant to look like, Daddy Pig. Ah! It takes a lot of effort to make it look this messy. The butterflies and bees like it. That's right. Wildflower meadows are very good for butterflies and bees. <laughs> Would you like to see the other gardens? Yes, yes please. please. This is the hot house. It's very hot in here. Yes, Peppa. It is where we grow plants that come from very hot places. We have cacti, Ooh. palm trees, ah. and this is a Venus flytrap. Why is it called a flytrap? Because it traps flies. Watch. The Venus flytrap has caught a fly. <laughs> George, let's play Venus flytraps. <laughs> I will be the flytrap and you can be the fly. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Caught you, George. <laughs> now I'll be the fly and you be the flytrap. Buzz. <laughs> George, <laughs> Venus flytraps do not run. <laughs> Oh, dear. George is a very sad Venus flytrap. Sorry, George. Let's both be flies. Calm down, little flies. It's too hot to buzz about in here. Don't worry. The next room is much cooler. This is our cold house. Is it the North Pole Garden? Sort of. The proper name is Arctic Tundra Garden. Ooh, ice cream. Does ice cream grow at the North Pole, Miss Rabbit? No, our fridge is broken, so we're keeping them here to stop them melting. Would you like one? Yes, please. Thank you. Pepper and George love ice cream, even in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> Follow me. This is the rainforest garden. Wow. wow! Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. oh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee! Peppa loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. Button ball. <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we will be playing bat and ball. Ooh. First, we need to practice our throwing and catching. Catch the ball, Pepper. <laughs> to you, Susie. <laughs> to me, Susie. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'll fetch it. <laughs> to me, Danny. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. But we are practicing our throwing too. Oh yes. <laughs> and now to you, George. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
George has dropped the ball. George is not very good at catching. Don't worry, George. Try throwing the ball instead. To me, George. Throw it to me. <laughs> oh, George has thrown the ball backwards. George! I'll fetch it. <laughs> Danny is good at fetching the ball. <laughs> I like fetching. That's good, because fetching is an important part of bat and ball too. Can we play bat and ball now? Yes, Peppa will throw the ball. I'm good at that. And Susie will hit the ball with this bat. I'm good at that. The rest of us will all run after the ball. And I'm good at that. Susie, you will run around the cones like this to win a point. Ooh. But if anyone catches the ball, Susie is out and gets no points. Oh. Let's play. Everyone takes their positions for bat and ball. Are you ready, Susie? Stand back, everyone. I'm going to hit it a million miles. Ooh. Ready? Ready. Run, Susie, run! Oh, yes! <laughs> Quick, get the ball! Get it! I got all the way around. I win one point. Well done, Susie. Now it's George's turn to bet. <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I think George is too young to do bat and ball. You're never too young to play bat and ball, Peppa. Oh, all right. Just try your best. George. <gasps> George has hit the ball backwards. Run, George! <laughs> Get it! Get the ball! I'll fetch it! <laughs> George has run all the way round and scored a point. Hooray! <laughs> Very good, George! <laughs> Thank you, Danny. <laughs> And now it is my turn to bet. Aren't you too old, Madam Gazelle? You're never too old to play bet and ball, Peppa. OK. Just try your best. <laughs> Madam Gazelle is good at batting. You hit it a million miles. And now I run. <laughs> Catch the ball! I'll get it! Let me get, get the it. ball! Hooray! That's one point! The ball is going all the way to the school. Oh, I'll go round again! I'll get it! Yeah. It's going the other way! Round again! Get the ball! I'm scoring lots of points! Get it! Here it comes! Catch the ball! Did you catch the ball? No. Did you get it, Susie? No. Who's got it? I haven't got it. I win! I win! I am the champion! <laughs> George caught the ball. Hooray! I lose. I lose all my points. Well done, George. Hooray! George loves playing bat and ball. Everybody loves playing bat and ball, even Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Poems! It is another day at Playgroup. Good morning, children! Good morning, Madame Gazelle! Ahem! <clears throat> Purple woolly socks are mittens for my feet. When the days are cold, they keep in all the heat. That, children, was a poem about woolly socks. Oh, uh, what about woolly socks? A poem is a magical way of using words that puts a picture in your mind. A picture of woolly socks? Not just woolly socks. A poem can be about anything. A lovely garden on a hot summer day. A young man. A broken heart. And woolly socks. <laughs> uh, yes. And sometimes the words in a poem rhyme, like feet and heat. Or cat and mat. Or dog and dog. No, Danny, that is not a rhyme. That is the same word. Oh, yes. Madame Gazelle, 
I can't think of any words. If you can't think of words, you can use sounds instead. Listen to the wind. It goes, ooh, wah, ooh, wah. <laughs> <laughs> Aho, playtime, children. <laughs> <laughs> Look for something we can make a poem about. <laughs> What can we make a poem about? A little bird. Little bird. Birdie bird. You are very birdie. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, Peppa. What about the swing? <laughs> swing, swing, swingy thing. Swingy thingy, swing thing. <laughs> <laughs> Making up poems is easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh. It is raining. Oh, dear. I must get the big umbrella. <laughs> Fish, splash, splash. This is fun. Gather on, children. I have the big umbrella. The big umbrella. <laughs> that is a big umbrella. Listen to the rain on the umbrella. It goes pitter-patter, pitter-patter. Now it sounds like... <laughs> Back to school, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, can we do a poem about the rain? What a good idea, Molly. Let's think of words that remind us of the rain. Uh, rain? Yes, Susie. Rain is rain. But what other words does rain make you think of? It's very splishy. And splashy. <laughs> and it sounds like pitter-patter, pitter-patter. And... Yes, those are all wonderful rainy words. And how does the rain make you feel? Wet. <laughs> yes, Danny? Anything else? It makes me feel tickly and wriggly. It makes me want to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Put it all together and we can make a poem. Hooray! It is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children. Hello! Today the children have been making up a poem. Would you like to hear it? Yes! Yay! The poem is called Rain. Drip, drip, drip. Drop, drop, drop. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. It is a rainstorm. Wet trickle wriggles. Making lots of puddles. Very good to jump in. Slish, slash, slosh, slish. <laughs> Grown ups love poems. Everybody loves poems. Mr. Bill, the teacher. Today, Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Mr. Bull is cutting the grass. Good morning, children. Good, Good morning, morning, Madame Gazelle. Today, we are going to be learning all about... <laughs> <laughs> what is so funny? Madame Gazelle, you made a squeak. Oh, uh -huh. it is just a squeaky floorboard. Mm, I really should get it fixed. Hello? Oh, I completely forgot. I'll be right there. Children, I must go to the dentist. I will only be gone for a little while. Who will be our teacher? Oh, um... Moo! Oh, I'll finish cutting the grass. Excellent. Mr Bull, would you mind looking after the children while I go to the dentist? Uh... Thank you so much. Children, Mr Bull will be your teacher. I will be back very soon. Be good. We will. Good morning, children. Good morning, Mr. Bull. Today I will teach you all about numbers. We've already done numbers. Have you? Can you tell me what number this is then? Five. Very good, Danny. Does anyone know any other numbers? One, six, forty-two. Oh, you do know your numbers. Well, do you know the letters of the alphabet? Yes. C for cat. Meow. D 
for dog. B for elephant. <laughs> we know lots of letters. So I see. Has Madame Gazelle taught you any nursery rhymes? Mary had a little lamb. Days of the week. Friday. Uh, fruit and vegetables. Carrot. Gosh, Madame Gazelle has taught you everything. There's nothing left for me to do. <laughs> What's that? It's the squeaky floorboard. Madame Gazelle wants it fixed. Does she now? Well, I've just thought of something I can teach you. How to fix a squeaky floorboard! Hooray! A couple of taps with this hammer will fix it. Hello? Hello, Mr. Bull. How are you getting on? Oh, very good. I'm just teaching the children how to fix things. Ah, that sounds nice. I'll be back soon. All right. Bye-bye. That, children, is how you fix a squeaky floorboard. It's still squeaking. Stand back. I need to take a closer look. There we go. This was the squeaky floorboard. But the floor is still squeaking. <laughs> oh, it must be this floorboard. There we go. It's still squeaking! <laughs> There's only one thing for it. What's that? We dig up the floor! Hooray! Hello, Mr. Bull. I am coming back now. Is everything OK? Yes, yes. It's all under control. See you soon. Stand back, children! Mr. Bull is fixing the floor. Madame Gazelle is back from the dentist. Ah! Mr. Bull, what are you doing to my school? Mr. Bull is fixing the squeaky floor. That's right. Look, no squeaks now. That is because there is no floor now. Oh, yes. Put everything back how it was before, please. Right you are! <laughs> Mr. Bull is good at digging holes. And hopefully good at filling them in again. Parking ticket. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in their bedroom. They have made a bit of a mess. <laughs> My goodness, what a mess! Oh, sometimes, Pepper, you could do a tiny bit of tidying up. Then we wouldn't ever have to tell you off. Hmm, why do children get told off? Grown-ups don't get told off. Ho, ho, ho. That's one of the very few good things about being a grown-up. There. Lovely and tidy. Right. I'm off to the shops. Can George and me come too? OK. <laughs> but I don't think you'll like this particular shopping trip. Daddy, what are you going to buy at the shops? I'm buying a bag of concrete. Daddy Pig likes concrete. Ugh, not the concrete shop again. I'll be as quick as I can. This is the concrete shop. What does that sign mean, Daddy? It means you shouldn't park here. So why are you parked here? It's all right, because I won't be long. Hello, Daddy Pig. Have you come to do some shopping? Just buying a bag of concrete. It's so boring. Peppa. Why don't you and George wait here and help me do my job? Thank you, Miss Rabbit. I won't be long. No problem. What job are you doing today, Miss Rabbit? I'm a traffic warden. Ooh! What does a traffic warden do? I look for cars parked where they shouldn't be. When I find one, I give it a parking ticket. Like this. Ooh! There. One bag of concrete. Say cheese. Cheese. See you later. Bye-bye. Oh, what's this? It's a parking ticket. Ah. Oh. Daddy, is a parking ticket like being told off? Uh, yes, Peppa. It's like being told off. Mummy, Mummy, Daddy 
got a ticket. That's nice. What did he get a ticket for? The cinema or the circus or... I got a parking ticket. Oh, well, hopefully it was just a mistake. Oh, yes. Maybe it was meant for someone else. Delivery for Daddy Pig. Thank you, Mr Zebra. Look, it's a picture of me, George and Daddy in our car. Yes, next to a no parking sign. It says I have to have a lesson to learn how to park. Daddy has to go to school. <laughs> it is Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Hello, 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 Mr Pig. Uh, can I help you? Yes, it's about the parking ticket. It's just routine. Nothing to worry about. You're not planning on leaving the country, are you? No. Are you ready for your parking lesson? Yes. Marvellous. Follow me. This is a no parking sign. It is important to look out for signs on the public highway. That's right. Police Officer Panda will now show you how to park. Here is somewhere you can park. There is no sign here. Here is somewhere you should not park. There is a no parking sign. And that is the end of the parking lesson. That's all very clear. Thank you, Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. Just doing our job. Hello, Police Officer Panda. Oh, hello, Miss Rabbit. Say cheese. What? A parking ticket? But that's outrageous. I was only parked for a moment. This sign was clearly visible. And you were parked in front of it. Ho, ho, you're right. It just goes to show that nobody is above the law. <laughs> And even grown-ups get told off. <laughs> 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 <laughs>